Well, first we need to understand that we are mostly made of water. It's about 70%. And water is not only necessary for our living, but also for decay. And the plastination technology allows us to exchange our tissue water against a polymer like silicone rubber or epoxy resin. And that's a vacuum process. Um, silicone rubber is not mixable with water, so uh, we need to have an intermediate step in between. So what we do first is we dehydrate the specimen. That means we put it into a volatile solvent like acetone and just leave it to stay. And just because of the chemical gradients, the water will move out and acetone into the specimen as its replacement. And then once all the water is gone and replaced by acetone, we put it into a liquid polymer and then we apply vacuum. In vacuum, the acetone evaporates very easily from the specimens and this draws the specimens, the, the, the silicone, right into the specimen as its replacement. And this entire process, the vacuum process, takes several weeks depending on the size and volume of the specimen. And once we take it out, we still have all the time we need to put it in a very attractive, lifelike position and make sure that all anatomical structures are in the right place. And then we cure it by means of a special gas. So in principle, plastination is pretty easy, but in detail, it's pretty intricate.